Hello students. Today, let's talk about dentition in humans. Majority of the mammals will have two sets of teeth which arise throughout their lifetime. The first set is called the milk teeth or deciduous teeth. And then this is replaced by the permanent teeth. So we call it as diphyodont type. This is also exhibited in humans. And if we see, our teeth is embedded in a jaw bone. So we call it as thecodont type. And if we see our teeth are not sharp, instead they are cusp-like and are smooth and blunt. And they are also small. So we call it as bonodont type of teeth. And if we see there is a diversity present in our teeth, which means there are different types of teeth present in our jaw. We have incisors, canines, premolars and molars. Because we have different types of teeth, it is said that human beings have heterodont type of teeth. I hope all of us know that an adult man will have 32 teeth. Let's see the arrangement on each side of the jaw. We have 2, 1, 2, 3. So this is a dental formula which is the representation of incisors, canines, premolars and molars. So we have 8 teeth present on each side of the jaw. So on the upper jaw we have 8 plus 8, 16 and on the lower jaw we have 8 plus 8, 16. So together we have 32 teeth. The premolars and the last molar are only present as a single set which means there is only production of a single permanent teeth. So we call them as monophyodont type. So the children will have a different dental formula that is 2102 which means there's two incisors, one canine, zero premolars and only two molars. So later when they develop the permanent set, they will also develop the premolars and the last molar teeth. So in children, we see that they have 20 teeth. Let us understand the structure of teeth. Now the structure is divided into three parts called the crown, the neck region and the root region. The crown region is encapped outside whereas the root is present inside the jaw bone. So it is embedded inside. And in between, we have a region called as neck. Now, the outer crown region has an outer layer, which is the strongest part of our body, called the enamel. And this is made of calcium phosphate. Now, enamel is secreted by the ameloblast cells, which are ectodermal in origin. Now, this is responsible for mastication of food. Then, we have the dentine layer, which is secreted by the odontoblast cells, which are mesodermal in origin. And this is present in both crown region and also in the neck region. And we see that it is extended into the root region. Now then we have the pulp cavity present, which is also seen in the crown and also in the root region. Now this pulp cavity will show presence of the blood vessels, lymph vessels and also the nerve supply. And then we see that the entire teeth is embedded in the jawbone and it is supported by specific fibers called the Sharpe's fibers. So this is the structure of teeth. Make your concepts stronger and stay ahead in your learning journey. Join me and other subject experts on the Tutorial app for daily free concept classes. Download the app now.